All right. I got it filled up with the, uh, the sugar wash. You go ahead and take the hose out and uh, seal it up. And I just turned on the, the heat. So you'll see here I got uh, 21.3 and 21 amps uh, on both heating elements right now. So I got a full blast. So it is about 9.35 in the morning. So it's gonna take a, a good hour, hour and a half for this thing to heat up. Here are the heating elements right there. And so this is about, this is 200 liters. So about 53 gallons in there. section in the column is starting to get warm to the touch. I'll take the camera over here and I'll show you. So you can see it's starting to condensate in there a little bit right there. And you can tell that, you know, the vapors are starting to come in there and it's actually pretty warm to the touch. This one, not so much. And that's a good indicator for me is that as soon as these things all, these sections start to get nice and warm and hot, when this one gets hot, I know I'm gonna start producing, okay? Here, down here, I don't know if you can see, we're at just shy of 170, about, I don't know, 78 degrees Celsius. And uh, I do wanna show you this kind of this octopus that I got set up here. Uh, you need to run cold water through your condenser and uh, it is hotter than a six foot pistol down here in Mexico. And I don't have an ice machine. And I do have a glycol unit over there. That's for the draft beer setups at bars that they have down here. That's not adequate enough. And um, I don't have just a straight pipe to water. I have tanks that we fill uh, uh, to use the water. So what I did is you'll see that there's two PVC, CPVC pipes uh, going all the way back to the uh, to the the water room is what I call it, and I have basically a pump right here. Let's see if I can get that. I'm having a tough time with the camera angle here. Sorry. Uh, that's bringing water in. You can see I got a, a little bit of a leak there, and this is my return. Okay, so it basically recirculates the water in the tanks the entire time. So, oh, and it's 5,000 liters. So over about a six hour run, that water starts to get warm and it, it, it's, it's not ideal. But for my situation, I don't waste any water. I recirculate it back into the tanks and it works real well. And I have a valve up here i believe this still comes with two valves but um, i originally had one valve here one valve here into the deflam this is the deflamigator and uh, so what i did is i took the one out here the one up here off and i put it down here and, and when i am distilling the whiskey i'm using those more to try to get my perfect balance of you know 140 proof out when i'm doing my sanitizer i want as high proof as possible and right now i have those at full reflux full power on water and uh, i do change this one up here a little bit i turn it down once all of these windows except I, I haven't really been able to get the sixth one to do it but once at least five of these are really jamming got a lot of action got a lot of uh, refluxing going in here you'll see the bubbles then i'll back it off so what's this doing? Since I have this on full bore, it's cooling the vapor up here and dropping it back down. And I just continually do that for, you know, 15 minutes. 
and once it gets really, really good and I get this fifth window uh, bubbling up, I'll then turn this to about three quarters off and it will start producing. And I should get maybe about a gallon and a half to two gallons an hour. So I'll show you guys that when we start uh, producing. I figure I got about another half an hour, maybe 40 minutes before it really starts to get going. All right? Okay, we're an hour and a half into heating. We're at uh, 192 degrees in the boiler, about 90 degrees Celsius. Um, is that right? Now, an hour and, yeah, about an hour and 25 minutes it, take, it took to get here. Now, those windows actually start to kind of clear up as they heat up. You can see the fifth chamber, fifth section up is kind of still got some vapor on the window. This is pretty warm. This is the fourth, or excuse me, the third. Uh, no, <laughs> fourth, fifth, it's, it's not that bad. This one's still pretty cool. But one thing you don't want to do is turn your back on it because it will race up on you without you paying attention. So it's, it's good to pay attention. Uh, yet, yeah, like I said, we're about an hour and 25 minutes into heating 53 gallons up and it's going to start producing here shortly. Okay, literally one to two minutes after I took that previous video, you'll see the head temp is starting to climb real quick. I mean, and you'll see right now it's starting to, starting to reflux in there. It's falling down. I have the water on. It's, it's coming in at full tilt. And you're not gonna want, really wanna pay attention to your tank temperature any longer. Okay, that's gonna, I still have it on at full, full power, 11,000 watts. The water temperature, I believe our water temperature is about 86 degrees right now. That's just, the, you know, it's, it's hot in here. And this should stop around, you know, it's, it's almost to 160 at the head temperature. It should keep it around 170, 172. We, we do know that uh, methanol uh, uh, evaporates, I, think, I believe, at 168, and then ethanol at 174. So this is, oh, you can see it's starting to come out right now. All right, so it, it's, it's coming out. There's 50, 53 gallons in here, 200 liters. I should get maybe five gallons probably a little less. It's about 10, 11% alcohol. Uh, right now I'm collecting the methanol. So 2%, it's about what, 640 ounces. And I should get oh, about 12 ounces. So 250 milliliters of uh, the first or four shots. I don't wanna be mixing the methanol with our uh, hand sanitizer because the methanol is toxic and uh, if you're rubbing it on your hands, you get methanol in your hand so um, sorry I, I have a leak on this plastic piece I gotta replace it but you'll see here it's starting to, to bubble up the second window starting and what are we at there can't really see from down here so we're about 170 yeah 172 or so so we're gonna let, let this go for a few minutes we're gonna let that per, uh, let that fall off that's going to be my four shots, and then when it's reflux and it's, I get action in this window down here, I'll let it go for a few more minutes, and then I'll kick this down to about three quarters, and uh, we should start collecting. And I, normally, I will collect into one of these five-gallon jugs. They are not recommended because they do break easily. And I've lost batches because of a, a crack on the bottom of the of the uh, uh, the water plastic water jugs. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a one gallon glass jug just to show you um, how quickly it will start to fill um, the jug. So I'll get back to you in just a moment. All right, you can see that uh, I got the first window, second window, third window, and I'm now working on the fourth window. Uh, so 
started to get a really good reflux. Should start to see this here in a few minutes as well. Um, I got about 150 milliliters of, uh, here I'll show this to you, of the four shots. So that's what I'm collecting right now. It's kind of probably not ideal. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but that's what I'm collecting. That's going to have our methanol in it. And um, I'm not too concerned about wasting. It's really only 2% and it's better to be safe than sorry. You should consider this when you're making your whiskey or any other type of spirit. Take about 2%. This is a sugar wash. So there's hardly any methanol. I'm sure I probably have already gotten all the methanol out, but just rule of thumb, 2%. Um, uh, there's a guy uh, that does YouTube, uh, his name's George Barley and Hops. He'll tell you all about it. He is a wizard. Uh, you don't really need to take out more than 2% of any batch. Just do the calculations. Uh, especially with a sugar wash, there's no grains, corn, fruits, or anything that produces methanol in this. I mean, there's a little bit from, from the sugar, but not enough to do anything to you, really. So, but uh, at least I'm just gonna continue on my process of removing the methanol. Just keeps me in check when I'm doing other things. So, looks like we want to uh, get a good reflex on the fourth window. So you are producing, even though I have a full throttle, it's just, you can tell it's, it's not very fast. Um, you know, it's a nice steady drip. Now once I hit, I'm almost, I'm almost ready here. I think uh, we're right at 250 mils. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the, uh, my hydrometer and turn this off. So now I've turned this valve off and it's starting to collect. I'm going to take my hydrometer and dip it in here and wait before it start coming up. Alright, check it out. I got the fifth window. Now, everything is at 100%. I got full power. 11,000 watts, uh, each element's 5,500. I got the water, a, hunt, a full bore, and uh, you're gonna see now, once this fills up, I'm gonna get some pretty pure uh, liquor. And it should be without any met methanol, and I explained that earlier. And I certainly get a here. And we're starting to fill up. if I can get a uh, better shot. I, I guess if I'm gonna do some of these, more of these videos, I'm gonna need a tripod or, or something and a microphone because I'm sure I sound very, very echoey. I apologize for that. Remember, I'm a novice. Um, and uh, by no means am I an expert. The hand sanitizer that I'm making is from the World Health Organization. Um, I, there's a jillion YouTube videos out there, still it, uh, uh, barley and hops, they show you how to make hand sanitizer. I was playing around with distilling before the pandemic and making hand sanitizer, but uh, there's literally no videos on the web on how to operate this thing. Uh, Mile High is out of Colorado, and uh, they have a YouTube channel, but they don't have anything on how to operate this. They have it on how to assemble it and clean it, but it's like they stopped all their videos like five or six years ago. And, uh, and so I had a couple subscribers ask me, you know, Jim, how, how do you operate this thing? We'd like to, like to see. I, I would have liked to have seen that because it was just basically trial and error and figuring it out. I mean, the first day, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, let's see how we're doing. Now, 
Now you can see, I mean, it's, if we were still, if, if a lot of uh, distillate was coming out, it would have filled up really quick. But since we're refluxing, got the cold water coming in here, with the, the vapors coming up, and there's a plate on each section, copper plate, and it's, it's cleaning that vapor every time it comes up, it's hitting the cold air up here, and it's falling back down, and that cycle keeps on happening until I close this off, or close it at you know, three quarters of the way, so it starts to heat up in here, passing that nice, clean, pure alcohol up through uh, the column and down through the condenser. And you'll see here, it's starting to pop up. Here we go. So what are we? Like 90, I don't know, 96, 98 proof. Now, you know, I, I always mess that up. I apologize. So that's like 98% alcohol. <laughs> and we're about 100 and, 190 proof. I apologize for that. So if I, if I can figure out how to change that on the video, you know, sometimes people put, you know, little deals on there. I'll, I'll change that up. But 98% uh, uh, alcohol, about 192 proof. 190, yeah, whatever that turns out to be. And you can see here, let's see if I can. So you can see it's, a, it's, it's kind of a trickle. Again, it's it's really slow. It's actually not that bad. And, you, and and to be honest with you, you can leave it like this. It's just going to take you a lot longer. Okay, it's starting to collect. Got it on here. The more you leave it full reflex, the more you're cleaning. So. What I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes, you can let it go for another five, 10 minutes if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and close this off a little bit. So I would say that's at about three quarters open. Okay. Now we should maybe almost see an immediate change. Looks like it's starting to come out a little bit you know, stronger, a little bit faster. It's a little bit more of a steady stream. You can see it's already collecting and getting a pretty good amount. So it's it's starting to, uh, to rip here a little bit. And you know, it's just something that you're gonna have to play with. Trial and error. Let me, let me put this back down on my makeshift uh, a makeshift uh, <laughs> tripod. But you're just going to have to play with it. But I, I think you can leave it full reflux if you want, with full reflux or, uh, and full power if you're making a distillate. Now, if you're making, if you're making vodka, right? Vodka is a, a neutral spirit. And by the way, in the U.S., it's illegal to, 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 to dis distill. So this is... This video is not to encourage you to do anything illegal, okay? So just, just what I'm doing down here in Mexico. Uh, but if you're making a vodka, a gin, or whatever, um, vodka is supposed to be a neutral spirit, and you want that to come out as pure as you possibly can. So I think there's some guideline that you need to be over 90% proof, and it should be neutral. But you're gonna wanna watch those, head, uh, those four shots, the heads, keep the hearts, and you know, and collect the tails. And a lot of people, you know, blend those to kind of get their flavor. Uh, uh, but with the neutral spirit, the goal is not to get any type of flavor. And you can get different types, you know, if you're making a, a vodka with potatoes or some type of grain, you can get a different type of body or feel to it in the mouth. I made a potato vodka and it was actually really good. Uh, the, the sugar, Sugar wash vodka that I get, believe it or not, does taste a little sweet to it. Um, the aroma tastes sweet to it. 
but uh, you just have to play with it. So, we're, so even though that I have the, reflow, uh, the, the valve on the D-flam closed off about a quarter of the way, and I still got three quarters of water flow in there, it's still coming out pretty good, and I'm still maintaining about 98% ABV, you know, or 90, 195, whatever, 192, 193 proof. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, you know, if something else pops up during the video and I'll, you know, and uh, I forgot, I'll, I'll record some more. This will take me to, to get the five gallons out, or four and a half gallons. It'll take me about three or four hours to do. Um, so, and then whatever I collect when making my hand sanitizer, like anything below, like, uh, uh, 85 proof or 90, uh, uh, excuse me, 85% alcohol uh, or 80% alcohol, I'll collect as much as I possibly can, all the way down to 20% uh, ABV. I'll collect it and I'll put it back into the next batch so that I can get as much out as possible. I think I put in about two and a half, three gallons of 80% ABV into this batch. Okay. Uh, so that I'm not wasting that much. So it's, it's maybe been a minute, or excuse me, two minutes since we started this, and, and you can already see, you know, it's, it's still going. Now what I've noticed is you'll see on the fifth chamber here, it's, it's not, you know, refluxing as much as it, it was before. There's gotta be, and I don't, I'm not smart enough to know this yet, but there's gotta be a ratio as, as you back off the refluxing, the amount of vapor that you have cleaned in there gets eliminated from the column and you know, you're collecting it in your jar, hence you don't see the reflux action down here in, in the fifth window. And as you eliminate that high proof alcohol, you're, you're gonna see this dissipate. And this is a good indicator. Once you, you only see action in this window, I've noticed that I've almost come to the end of my run. Now, I have two hours into it, I put this full throttle, I'm refluxing 100%, I let it do that for 10, 15 minutes, and I'm just, I'm trying to get as much alcohol vapor in here cleaned and try to squeeze as much out of this into my, my collection jar to get as much high proof alcohol. Now, you'll, no, you'll notice that even though you're getting a 98% ABV, um, it starts to smell, doesn't smell that good because you're getting a lot of tails in there, uh, but you're still getting a high alcohol content. So. Anyway, hopefully I'm uh, <laughs> making sense. Uh, you know, if you see something I could do better, uh, please comment below in the comments. Uh, let me know what you've experienced or any suggestions that you may have. Uh, this works for me right now doing hand sanitizer. Um, the next time I do a whiskey, I'll, I'll videotape that. And this thing's a lot more temperamental when doing a whiskey. And you really got to pay attention to it. So I uh, appreciate it. And if there's anything else that you need me to explain or elaborate on, just let me know. Thanks. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification deal on here. I'm new at all this stuff. My son is like all YouTube. You know, he, he loves it. And he, he's like, Dad, you gotta get 100,000 subscribers. I'm like, you know, small moves. So uh, uh, I appreciate it. Let me know uh, if you have any comments. Thanks. All right, 40 minutes in, and we almost got a gallon of 98% uh, ABV alcohol. I have now switched it over into this container, and, uh, and we're still refluxing pretty good on the four windows. On the fifth one, it's it's still refluxing a little bit. It slowed down. Um, if I turned the, the water off a little bit more, it would start to come out much quicker. But that was that was pretty quick. Almost a gallon, 40 minutes.